Hey everyone, today we're getting a brand new look at Frozen 2 and I'm excited. I hope that they actually kind of give us some idea into the plot, into the story, because the teaser, while it was beautiful, it was hard to tell what exactly was going on and a lot of people were kind of left going, hmm, what? So I think this morning we're finally going to get some answers, at least maybe what the little floating icy things are or why the leaves are such a problem. I don't know, but let's watch. trying to get across the water. I won't let anything happen to her. Well, all right then. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. So we see her traveling across the water, trying to get across the water. We still don't know what for. Maybe she's just messing around. Maybe it has nothing to do with the parents and she's just determined to like harness more of her power. And then she's underwater and she sees this magical horse thing, which it looks like she kind of shrugs off, which I guess if you're magical and have ice powers, then nothing kind of surprises you. And you're like, oh, okay, magic horse, it's fine. But then later on, we see the horse kind of as a spirit guide almost like, hey, look at me. And then look at these giant ogre things that kind of look like marshmallow, but like rock form and a lot angrier. So Elsa's got to travel and protect the world and find out the truth and all sorts of stuff. And it kind of looks like they go into Stonehenge, right? Doesn't that look like Stonehenge at the end? Which that's crazy to me. Like we're going to, are we time traveling? Are we teleporting? Like what's going on? But I'm excited for it. It looks like it's going to be uh, awesome adventure that we're gonna go new places with these characters and I wonder if we're gonna visit any other place inside of the Disney universe because that would be awesome you know I love my Easter eggs Frozen 2 is in theaters November 22nd what did you think leave a comment below bye <laughs>